What's up guys, Alucard here. I'm gonna be doing another new review for a flavor today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing another sponsor of mine, um, and that is Rogue, Rogue Energy. So, uh, I've never had Rogue Energy before, but obviously I am sponsored by them. <clears throat> and uh, I've already got my shaker mixed with water, ice, the whole nine yards. I've got about eight ice cubes of, uh, in this thing. So once again, like Juggernaut, I'm sticking to sample packs, really. I don't have tubs yet. So this is basically my way of testing the waters with a brand, right? So anyone who's paid attention to my content so far has known that whether I am sponsored or not from a brand I am trying in review, I'm gonna give my honest opinion with no bias. Uh, so if I like a drink, I like it. If I don't, I don't. It is what it is. So uh, this, this is also a way for me to really figure out what tubs I want as a starter situation. Um, so I've got four flavors. I'm gonna be reviewing each one, one by one, like I've done with Juggernaut, uh, G Fuel, Dubby, the whole nine yards. So the four flavors I've got are Strawberry Bubblegum, Rocket Pop, Sour Candy, and Grape Popsicle. Now, the Grape, I'm, I'm gonna be very real here. The Grape Popsicle is the one I'm more anticipated with, but uh, to start things slow, I'm gonna be reviewing the Strawberry Bubblegum flavor, Rogue Energy. Um, so th that's what I'm gonna be reviewing in this video. So, Let's see how this turns out. Now, let me open up the, ooh, I'm getting the whiff. I, oh, that is a strong smell. I didn't even need to start smelling the powder because it's so strong that it just wafts in the air. So let me give it an actual smell. Ooh, that, I already know what that smells like already hands down strawberry bubblicious gum that's what this smells like instantly nostalgic to my childhood oh my god that smells so good it's, that is crazy how good that smells I'm actually surprised um, I've reviewed Dubby I've reviewed G Fuel I've reviewed Juggernaut um, I haven't reviewed Ulti yet, but that will come. But I've reviewed these other brands, and I've never had powder that strong to the point where it just wafts into the air as soon as you open it. That's new to me. So, into the shaker cup we go. And that is a lot of powder. Holy moly. Now, unfortunately, this is not a clear cup, so I'm not going to have a strong representation of the color of the drink. Though I'm not entirely sure if Rogue has maltodextrin, because maltodextrin is sort of an artificial sweetener um, that adds color to your drink. Does it have maltodextrin? I'm curious on that. It does not say, oh, it does, never mind. Yes, it has maltodextrin, so it should be changing color. I'm not seeing a color change. Maybe I'm not noticing it because the cup is white. I don't know, can you tell? We'll find out. But man, that is a very strong scent. Go ahead and tighten that, make sure it's good and tight. Get my timer out, and here we go.
Oh, it's foaming up. It's foaming up. Hold on. Cat hair. Resume. That's the best I can do, unfortunately. I can't shake anymore because it's foaming up a lot. Which is weird because I've... Uh, man, and it's creating pressure so it's hard to open. Alright, so right off the bat, it's a little hard for me to see in person. But I can slightly tell a pink hue to the cup. And definitely on camera, um, it's picking up the pink color more. So the drink is pink, clearly. So it's a very appropriate color. Now, smelling the drink. I still, well, wait a minute. I still smell it, but the, the same f scent that I got from the powder, but it's more subtle. It's not as strong. So let's give it a taste. Huh. Wow. That's unusual. Yeah, it seems like when it's mixed into the drink, that aroma and that flavor give you a tiny jab of subtlety. What I mean by that is you can still tell it's the strawberry bubble gum, but it's it's like it's very elusive to the taste buds and your scent. Um, or your sense of smell. Um, yeah, it's very subtle. It's not exploding with the same gusto that um, the powder had by itself. But it's still good. I mean, it's... I mean, I wonder if this is a hydro sample. Yes. That that explains it. This is a high, this is a rogue hydration. I didn't even pay attention to that. Rogue hydration. So this is basically their no caffeine version. That's why it's giving me that refreshing vibe. But yeah, this is something. Oh, ooh, that strawberry bubblicious gum aftertaste is hidden. It, take, it took a few sips to really get that aftertaste, but I feel it in the back of my throat. That's really good. Yeah. That is fascinating. Okay. Roof, um, rating. It's that time. Solely on the nostalgia factor, as well as how refreshing it is, I'm gonna be real. Nine out of ten, solid flavor, and I would highly recommend this tub as well. Uh, I'm just blown away um, that it managed to bring out some more nostalgia for me. I really like how all these brands are bringing back my childhood in a way that I haven't really experienced before and it's really i really like that that's why i'm giving these brands a chance uh whether they are someone i'm sponsored by or not i'm i like experiencing this new sensation that i'm getting from these drinks um it's new yet familiar um but yeah nine out of ten for the strawberry bubblegum flavor of Rogue energy, or as that says, rogue hydration. 
So very refreshing, highly recommend. Um, but yeah, that'll be it. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with Rogue Energy and its energy and hydration flavors, um, and you want to give them a try, go to RogueEnergy.com. And if you want 10% off on your order, use my discount code, Alucard. Help support me and get 10% off at the same time. Until then, guys, this has been Alucard. Peace.